Good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. I'm actually a day late. This is for Thursday, April 7th, the fifth Thursday of Lent. And it is the feast day of St. John Baptiste de La Salle. Um, and I talked about him on this day, April 7th, last year. Um, so I know I went into more depth with him, I'm sure. Uh, but he's a one that I feel more Related to, I guess, um, he was he was a French priest and educational reformer, and he was a founder of of uh, some a boys Christian school. Um, so, and he is the patron saint of the teachers of youth. So, kind of, you know, it's what I did for eight years of my life. So, there it is. So, De La Salle. But I'm also going to talk about Saint Henry Walpole or Walpole. Uh, he was around in the 1500s. He was an, an English Jesuit martyr. Uh, he was executed at York for refusing to take the oath of supremacy, which, which was uh, the oath that they were required to take um, by any public or church, church office in England to swear their allegiance to the monarch as supreme governor of the Church of England. Um, and he was not all about that. He refused to do that, so they martyred him. So he was, he was one of the 40 martyrs of England and Wales uh, during that time who were, who were the persecuted Christians um, of saying they only swear their allegiance to God. Um, so this took place during the English Reformation, which ultimately brought about the, the Anglican Church um, in, the, in, those, in the, uh, 1500s, early 1600s. So anyway, today's gospel is from John chapter 8, verses 51 through 59. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died, as did the prophets. Yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who died? Or the prophets, who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus, Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is worth noting. But it is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say, He is our God. You do not know him, but I know him. And if I should say that I do not know him, I would be like you, a liar. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Abraham your father rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? And Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you. Before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. We're just trying to envision the scene of which Jesus is telling them who he is and what he's all about, and that they're just not piecing everything together um, as far as the Jews. You know, he's saying that, you know, you follow me, you will never see death. But they have such this human mindset a human limited mindset of, of saying that doesn't make sense because even Abraham died, whom they virtually admitted to worshiping. Um, so they can worship Abraham, but they can't do anything with Jesus, um, which is quite interesting. Um, so, uh, but yeah, you just see how they get a sense of like their, their human, our human limitations of what we can see and what we can rationalize with, but eventually we got to transcend our minds to think outside of just what humanly makes sense. If you claim to believe in miracles, you have to believe in a lot of things that doesn't make sense because miracles don't make sense on a human level, but yet oftentimes people claim it all the time, like, oh, that would, be, that would be a miracle, that would take a miracle. And miracles have happened all throughout history. And, you know, as a Catholic, the miracle takes place every single day at Mass during the Eucharist. Because with that little wafer of unleavened bread, we believe that a miracle takes place through transubstantiation where that turns into the body of Jesus Christ himself. Under the accident of bread, 
but substantially it is Jesus Christ himself. So even though it appears as bread, it tastes like bread, it feels like bread, it is Jesus Christ himself. And that is does not make sense on a human level. It requires a deep sense of faith. And that is why only 30% of Catholics, unfortunately, believe in it. But it just seems to tie into this. Like the Jews, it doesn't make sense of what Jesus is telling them. You know, I'm never going to die. You know, if you follow me, you'll never die. You'll have eternal life. Like that doesn't make sense. Um, because we're so limited in our capacity. So the challenge is, what are you doing there during this Lent? to help transcend your mind, to go above what, ra what by human reason makes sense. But how can we take that and make it into something that is superhuman, um, that will transcend us closer to God, who is transcendence himself, which is good, beautiful, and true. So have a great day. God bless. Keep it real. In the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit, amen.